Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about some numerology portals. That's right, today we have the activization of our 77 portal. And this is all about kind of like activating um, like the energies of the numerology. And sevens are all about kind of like this nurturing um, spirit and kind of manifesting like deeper connections, kind of like nurturing deeper connections with the people around us and our family, our friends, our co-workers, and our businesses as well. Um, and this is going to be kind of really illuminating or kind of spotlighting um, our journey into higher realms and kind of higher energy and really amplifying our energy, kind of like boosting it up. What else can we do in this energy? And then we've got this all in the sign of the sun is in cancer. So that's all about super nurturing and kind of adding this up. So we've got kind of like a this super energetic um, nurturing energy coming at us. So so people ask me like, okay, so why is it so important? These are the days, 7-7, seven, seven, so July 7th is the day that this portal is activated. And this is a great day to kind of push that energy um, even more. Um, and I would say kind of like what to do with that energy portals. What are we supposed to do? I'm gonna link this down to my inner, my um, video on portals so you kind of understand about portals in general. But <clears throat> this is a great day to kind of like, what has been holding you back from developing deeper connections with other people? What has been um, holding you back from kind of limiting yourself of where you want to be in a relationship? Not only with yourself, with um, your loved ones. Um, this could be a physical partner, kind of like your boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, partnerships, this could be your spouse, kind of what's been keeping you back from that and identifying that so you can keep moving forward and kind of keep amplifying this energy. Um, anything that you would use to kind of um, um, push this energy that you haven't let go of, now is the time to let go of it and kind of really putting that energy in kind of like why do I want to change? I want to change because I want that deeper connection with someone else. And so kind of letting this energy kind of go um, into us and kind of like modifying what we want to do. Um, letting go of old beliefs. Maybe it's we've been hurt in the past and we want to keep ourselves protected in some way. Um, maybe it's kind of like the energy of what we learned in past lives that came back up. Um, maybe it's just, I'm not sure if I really want to be with this person, but I'd rather be with one person than, you know, with no one at all. And so that can kind of be some energy as well kind of coming up. Um, this is a great day to kind of do a meditation to kind of amplify this energy. Um, I will tell you that kind of the stuff that I do is during energy portals um, is to um, light some candles, maybe um, get some incense going and kind of clearing out the space and kind of purifying what I'm doing at that time frame, um, and kind of inviting that 7-7 seven, seven energy to kind of flow down and kind of like where my angels and guides would guide me and where do I need to change this energy or modify this, um, kind of like breathing in that, it, that change and kind of like what are the upgrades that I'm would like to make or visualize at this time to kind of flow into that energy even better. Um, this is a great time to kind of really amplify and change what you really don't like about this. So what in your nurturing world would you like to change? What is it that you would like to breathe in new and different and kind of let go of the old and the stale? Kind of breathing in that energy. <clears throat> I will have a great 7-7 seven, seven meditation. I will be doing that in two parts. I will be doing one for my celestial um, meditation club. So that's going to be for my higher students, my more advanced meditation people. And then I'll be doing one out that will be um, launching um, shortly after this one is of kind of just like how to connect to this energy. Um, not that it won't be as advanced, but it will still be kind of bringing in that new healing energy for yourself and kind of allowing that energy to flow through and kind of like making changes and upgrades. Um, 
and allowing this energy that you're bringing in to kind of really make some changes for you. Um, the universe is always asking us, our creators are always asking us, make changes, make upgrades. It's not like, oh, I've done this every year the same way, exactly the same way, and let's keep doing it. It's kind of like, what would you like to change? How would you like to modify this? How would you like to make a difference in your life? And upgrading and changing your energy is a great way to start. And these portals are there for us to modify and change our energy and upgrade. What are you willing to let go of so you can step into something new and healthy and modifying something different? Um, I think that's the really cool part myself. Um, I love doing meditations on these days. I love amping up that energy and kind of getting connected to our portal energy, um, energy um, kind of ways to deal with things. That's the fun part. Okay. Oh, I'm all right. Wait. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is um, our, our support. This is our support system. Our angels and guides are always there to help us modify and we connect with their energy on this portal meditation to bring in some changes and bring in some upgrades for us. And what do we want to change and how do we want to do it? That's what we're really into right now is kind of how can we make those upgrades? How can we make those changes happen? Our next card that's popping forward, there are signs. There are so many signs and you're going to have signs prior to this day of going, you need to make changes in this area. You need to make changes in this area. You need to make changes in this area. And it will be amplifying at this time to make those changes. Serenity, if you're not at peace, in all of what's happening in this energy, then you need to let go of things. If you don't feel peace in this of like, yeah, I'm ready to let this go, I'm ready to release this, then you've got too many things. You've got to work on this energy to let it go and release it now before it gets even worse. Forgiveness, forgive yourself because so many of us have made mistakes in the past and so many of us are kind of like, oh my gosh, this it's too much to deal with. No, it's not. We've made those changes and the only person that we can really count on to making upgrades and really taking our first, our best interest at heart is us. We've got to make those changes. We have got to make those upgrades for us so we can keep moving forward. Playfulness. Whenever I make changes, I always make them playful. It's one of those and be very um, soft and easy with that energy. So many times when people make changes and upgrades are kind of like really harsh with themselves. Don't be harsh. Be light and easy with this because I guarantee you're going to change some things and then like in a couple of days you'll be like, hmm, I want to change this too. Bring that energy back into the fold. Bring that light, easy, playful energy back into the fold to make it. Retreat, you may choose to do not only the meditation today, but kind of amplifying this energy um, to kind of pull it up even more and kind of stepping back and kind of taking that retreat time for yourself, taking some time and really thinking about what you want to change, modify, or release for yourself so you can let this go. Our last card is all about spiritual growth. Spiritual growth is so important at this time. We, So many people are kind of upgrading and modifying and changing and all of these kind of things. And we want to be part of that energy, but you have to kind of just not be want to be part of it. You have to be willing to do the hard work. You have to be willing to do the meditations, to do the time in and kind of release what you have been holding onto or holding you back and allowing that energy to move you forward so you can keep going. I guarantee you one of the things that's really important about this, I'm getting told to pull this last card on the bottom of the deck and I don't know why, I'm just told. Um, and so one of the things that's really important for this is starting something fresh and new for yourself. Not holding on to the new, um, the old, but bringing in that new. Uh, here we go, new beginnings. This can start a whole new nurturing beginning for you. Having your energy being nurtured, having your energy kind of manifest in what's new and possibilities and allowing that energy to pull yourself forward, kind of setting that intention of kind of like a new anchor of like, where do I want to go from here? Where do I want to upgrade this energy from here? Where do I want this to change and modify for me? Because if you're not willing to do it for you, you're holding not only your energy back, but everybody else around you. We've got to be ready to move forward and move this energy in a very super positive way. I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.